Hey, what is going on, everybody? Happy, uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I'm on lunch break right now, so I thought I would just come live and chat with everybody for a minute. Uh, not real hungry. Had a big breakfast. Um, a pretty heavy snack, so I'm just not real hungry. Thought I'd make myself uh, some hot chocolate uh, during my lunch break because it is cold out there. I think it's only like 36, 37 degrees, something like that. Um, so I thought I'd make myself some hot chocolate and just come live and, and talk with y'all for a minute and answer any questions y'all may have. Um, uh, as soon as my hot chocolate is done, actually, while that's going, I'm going to go and set my computer up real quick. So I've been seeing a lot of live videos on Instagram lately, and I mean a lot. Uh, most of them I can't watch for very long because I don't understand what they're saying. Um, and others... Okay, don't get me wrong. I think, to a degree, everybody is actually basically intelligent. Um, but those that... Huh, once you open their... Once they open their mouths, not really, uh... Uh not really all that intelligent and then depending on what types of words they use uh yeah they just kind of i don't know um, i don't really know how to explain it without sounding insulting and i definitely don't want to do that so uh with that being said um with my hot chocolate made um what am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I've asked people in the past to keep uh, what they say while on my channel's clean because I don't like profanity. Um, and I know that that counts out a lot. It doesn't mean that I don't listen to it, but um, I definitely try really hard not to use it. Uh, nobody's perfect, of course. Sorry, gotta have marshmallows in your hot chocolate. It's like a rule for me. <laughs> um, but people just, in general, sound very... unintelligent, the more they swear. Um, take, for instance... Um, well, and then there are some profanity words that I just can't stand. And I don't watch certain celebrities I don't listen to them because of how absolutely idiotic and vulgar they sound uh, when they do swear case in point Joe Pesci um, I hated his character in the movie uh, Lethal Weapon 2 3 and even 4 um, I think he was supposed to be a comic relief and he just he sounded like an idiot to me. So, uh, since I'm not real hungry, I thought I would take this time and I would come live to talk with y'all, answer any questions you may have about what I do, and also uh, work on my own business a little bit. So I'm going to log in to one of my back offices, and yes, I do have two. Um... You know, trying, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be to get a business going. Definitely not impossible, and the tools that I use make it a whole lot easier. But there are some people that just naturally can pick it up and fly, and then there are people like me who are trying to learn. Uh, now, having said that, um, what you need, puppy? Do you need to go back outside? Okay, take my dog out here real quick. So, started following some new people. Uh, one of them, his name is Dr. Mike. And one of the reasons that I started following him is I believe that you can learn a lot from doctors, but at the same time, you got to be careful about what you learn from doctors. Okay, take for instance, Dr. Mike. Seems like a good guy. Um... He seems really young to be a doctor. Uh, the guy doesn't even look like he's in his 30s. I could be wrong. 
Um, like I said, he, he seems like a really nice guy. Um, he lives in New York, uh, does a video, I think, or lives chat every Monday. Um, definitely very friendly, uh, willing to answer questions, but he said some, see, he said some things that really kind of proved that he was trained in preventative or not preventative, um, diagnostic medicine as opposed to preventative and I say that I don't believe that with good nutrition nothing can be accomplished okay um, obviously what I promote is not a cure uh, and I'll never claim that it is but it doesn't mean that what I use can't help okay case in point uh, myself my, I, no, I started to notice that about three years ago, four years ago, um, my memory wasn't what it was. Uh, I was stuttering a little more than I anticipated, and I was fumbling over myself a little bit. Couldn't really figure out why. Rather than going to a doctor, having all these tests done, and you know trying different prescriptions, which I don't like doing in the first place, I decided to do my own research, and discovered that at the age of 20 your neurons uh, in your brain that form memory that hold your memories and this that and the other actually start to decay as do the branches that connect those those neurons so um, then at the age of 30 they start to speed up and so it, that's actually the cause for dementia and Alzheimer's and this that and the other and I found that if you can do things to essentially jumpstart your memory, learn new things, uh, try new things, that it could actually improve uh, your mental capabilities. I also uh, started taking a pill called MindWorks. Um, tiny pill, not, nothing to it, uh, but boy has it helped. Uh, so I incorporate these things on a day-to-day -day basis. And while I'm not saying that Alzheimer's or dementia are not in my future, I don't want to have to worry about it either. And you don't have to do diagnostic medicine and take all kinds of prescriptions that have all kinds of side effects to feel better, to feel more like yourself. And so I take mind works, I study new things, I love brain, uh, brain teasers like... Um, what was the one when I was a kid? What was the big one? Brain Quest. And then there was Brain... What was the video game? Brain Age? I think is what it was called. And so... Um, I started to do all these things. And I started to learn new things and teach myself new things. And it has amazed me how much my memory has come back to me. I definitely don't stutter nearly as much as I used to. I don't fumble over myself as much as I used to. And a large part of that is because of my mental capability. Now, I'm not claiming to be a genius, okay? But I know who I am. And so when who I am started to disappear, that's what really got me thinking about what I could do uh, to improve the situation. Uh, Y'all hold on a minute. I got to try and get my dog back in. Come on, Mac. Mac, inside. Good boy, Mac. Come on, inside. Good boy. Come on, Mac. Hey, come on. Good boy. This, do this dog did not start out as my dog, but he is very much my dog. Um, he drives me crazy sometimes, but I love this dog. Good boy, Mac. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You say hi? Say hi. Yeah, good boy. He's like my little cat dog. He'll, he'll, he'll rub up on your legs like a cat does. It's hysterical. Oh, all my marshmallows are almost melted. You can't have a good cup of hot chocolate without marshmallows. Just my opinion. So, I thought, um, you know, what what better way than sharing my story with y'all? Uh, but so I started following Dr. Mike in the hopes that I can kind of see where he's coming from, where I can learn a little bit from him, but maybe even hopefully... Um, teach him something too in my opinion you never stop learning once you start you never stop and you definitely start 
learning from the day you were born. Um, my youngest son, Ryan, who is seven months on Thursday. Yeah. Seven months on Thursday. Um, actually just said his first words. And I have to brag a little bit because it was Dada. Uh, <laughs> my wife didn't like it too much, but uh, mainly because for both our kids, uh, her their first words were Dada or Daddy. So um, <laughs> she she didn't care for it too much. I think she's just a little bit jealous. Uh, as much as she takes care of those boys and Dada was still their first words. It was just funny. Um, let's see. My wellness center. Discover. Haven't posted in a little bit. I got to see what's, what's new out there. Y'all forgive me for a minute. I'm just reading here real quick. Steven. Date recorded November 16th. Am I in this? Good evening, everybody. Uh, I should say that first because since I'm starting. But, you know, you get all excited because you, 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 you've been in the business so darn long. You don't know anything different. And uh, and it pretty, it's pretty exciting because uh, you know we have we've been given the gift actually from Dr. Shackley of better health, and as you all know that's my that's my fastball in this business. I think this recording as, uh, actually has me in it. That's the reason that, that uh, we got in this business business, and the rest of you are here because if I hadn't had the interest in the product, if that's the, the case, that, then that I need I did, to ask them to correct uh, my name. Would be on this call tonight <laughs> I spelled it S T V S T E V E N. <laughs> and mine is actually the scriptural well, spelling. Well, 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 I, I say scriptural. This is how you'll find it in part. the Bible. And so, um, <laughs> is S T E P H E N. And, and the reason that I'm saying that, and it, it, it because so I'm going to listen to this for a minute. Amazing business, but it wasn't. Uh, no, it wasn't the business that I was interested. See if I can skip ahead. Of course, it's going to be different because we've got Shackley. We've got Shackley skin. We've got Shackley blood. We've got Shackley everything in. Well, why, why won't I believe it? Well, because I just I can't hardly believe it myself. I'm feeling. I'm so awesome, and then be quiet and let them ask you, why are you feeling so awesome? I don't know, I've just been taking this stuff for a while, and I'm really feeling great. But let's talk about how are you, and what are you doing, and blah, blah, blah. So that you're pushing away from the people what, what they want the most, because the people want what they can't have. So to get back to Dr. Shackley's point is, is um, I'm going to read that again, because we've had a couple of new people come in. Um, it's not the bad elements you take into your body that will nail you. Your body is a remarkable machine that can conquer almost any disease. It's when you do not take in enough of the nutrients your body requires to neutralize the effect of those bad elements. That's when the problem is. That is what will make you sick. And so the question is, what are you willing to do about it? And that's the, I love that question because it's always about what are you willing and what are your new people, what are you willing to do? Are you willing to, to invest in yourself? We invest in all kinds of things and we forget to take that money out and the, that most valuable person that we, well, the, 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 the factor that we have is our body. We, that's what we drive around in. We sit in it. We, we have a bath in it. We, we, run, we run in it. We do everything in this body. If it's not working properly, we're not going to feel very well. So here's the question. Would you be willing to experiment on yourself? So again, thank you for joining us. That cell, C-E-L-L-S, for the one -E -L 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 for to see what readers. feeling better actually and, uh, feels gonna, like. Some of the basics of this amazing app to help that's you. A, that's a good, really good question. For those of you taking notes, I'm going to repeat that. Would you, and I love this, because when, about, when, you, when you're asking what would somebody be willing to, then because the, the only answer to that is yes. Because otherwise, if they don't answer yes, then they're, they're not willing to be better, so don't talk to them anymore. Don't go on to the business opportunity, or you might want to try this. No, because they're both attached, which is the other reason, by the way, folks, why we why we chose to, back in the day, it was called the Shackley Wealth, now called the Your Freedom Project. Um, that's why we, we chose to, to build our businesses that way, because we uh, the, the fallback place from introducing people to the opportunity that Shackley offers, when they say no to the, to the opportunity, they generally will say yes to the product. If you present the product first, they quite often will say no to the product. Well, if they say no to the product, there's no point in talking about the business because the business is the product. The product is the business. So the question becomes, would you be willing to experiment on yourself to see what feeling better actually feels like and actually feels like for you? Because for everybody, it's different. 
every, this was very interesting, I, so I wrote this down. Every six seconds, someone turns 50 in the U.S. As we mature, our body's demand for nutritional support increases as our ability to absorb different nutrients, vitamins B6, B12, C, D, and K, decreases. So I'll repeat that. Every six seconds, someone turns 50 in the U.S. As we mature, our bodies demand, because then, first of all, some, some heavy concerns. When you hear about um, that happened. <laughs> well, well, you know, I think... I think Sorry for making you all listen to this. I'm just trying to figure out if this recording has so any I mean, in or not. She's very happy about it. But what she's referring to is that this is um, not something that is going to go away or can be cured or anything like that. And what you really need to be expecting... This conversation is an hour long, and I just don't have more. the time something that I would like to listen to the whole thing. Expecting that you, as you, get, as you age, you're going to get worse. The longer this condition is there, the more opportunity there is for it to get worse. Well, exactly. Isn't, I'm just going to jump in there in a second. If I could, I need to jump in there because yeah. that's according to what she's seen so far or the, 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 the notes that have been made by pre previous doctors and things like that, their perception is that that is what's going to happen. They don't have a, a, a place in their, in their mind that, oh, my gosh, this is going to get better. They, they're, they're, they're using you as a, as a guinea pig, and, and the same thing as, as Shaxley products. You know, you're using them as a guinea pig as well because you didn't know whether they were going to make you feel better or not. And sometimes I know that it darn well felt like this isn't happening. But as the years are going by, as you're learning how to take more of some things, like 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 Formula I, for example, let's just let's just talk about that for a minute. You know, you know that body. I, I can say for sure, your body will. Them. I was just wondering, you know, like what products may help them. Well, you know, first of all, you want to. Yeah, for, buy for six months and see how you feel. I'd be willing to help you. Money, tell them that it'll be there in about five to ten business days, depending on the credit card company. There you go. I'd like to feel better. I'm here to help you out. All all the chances that it, that that you want. I'll I'll find information with you. I will I will help you with with all kinds of different things. I, the products work for all kinds of different for different situations for different people. And if you're willing then I'm able. I'm able to, te to teach you about these products. I'm able to, to show you how things work. I'm able to talk to a whole pile of other people on your behalf and help and help you to, to get to feel better because that's what I do. You know, I'm, I'm Catherine. The, 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 I'll help you to feel better person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because isn't that, yeah, isn't that the truth? Isn't that what you do? When people oh, yeah, ask definitely. you what is yeah, I mean, when people say to you, hey, Catherine, what do you do? You say, I help people feel better. It's like, what? They, they don't realize that they, they don't think they heard you. Well, okay, well, well, what do you mean by that? Well, I help people who don't feel well now to feel better, you know, in the, in the near future. Would you like to see how that works? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and when they say no, just say, okay, that's fine, no problem. If you, know, if you know anybody who'd like to feel better, would you give them my name and number? Yeah. You know, I mean, it, okay. it, I know it's, it, it, it seems very simplistic. Go ahead, Catherine. Sorry. No, I was just going to say thanks. That's good. Okay, so it, it, it helped you to, 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 to... Oh, here's another thing. Did I mention the guarantee that if you don't if you don't get the results that you're looking for, you can get your money back? Shackley will refund your money. and But eat the whole thing. Save the containers. Don't, don't throw the containers out because they might ask you what are the numbers and things like that on it. So save the containers. But if you'd like to feel better, the company is behind you to do that. And here's the other question. What would you like to be free from? Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. You know, would you like to be free from pain? We've got some things that can really help you out with that. Oh, and, and then after that, what would you be willing to do to be free? Or the, or the, you know, the, 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 the difficulties that you're having as you, as you've been hearing things going along. Does yeah. that, does that make sense? Oh, yeah, that makes easy, sense. isn't it? Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. I love it when people come in and participate. It's great. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Hi. Steven, is that you? Thanks, Catherine. And I'll be back later, Thank Anne you. and Jeffrey. Hang on. 
Um, Stephen, is that you out there? That, that's me, Carrie. I just wanted to add to something that you had said. Um, sure. When you when you do it, I have to have to call Shackley and say, okay, I need to enact the Shackley guarantee. Um, after having just done this myself, what they do is they ask you for the name of the person and the order number that they that they placed, and then once they find that. Um, the person that helped me, they put me on hold for a couple minutes, and then they came back and they said that, okay, we just refunded their money. Tell them that it'll be there in about five to ten business days, depending on the credit card company. There you go. How'd that make you feel? Um, that made me feel wonderful because the, the way that I work, it, 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 let's say you've never used shampoo a day in your life and you order something from me. Um, I hold, if you gave me cash for it, I hold on to your money until I hear one way or another from you about the product itself. If you come back and you tell me that you like it, okay, then I'll use the money for something else. If you tell me you don't like it, I've got your money for you. You don't have to wait for me to, to be paid or something. So when I told that to Shackley, they were actually quite surprised because um, they told me I didn't have to worry about it at all. Keep the money in my account. They've already taken care of it. That's correct. Now, how do you feel about the, about the corporation now? A whole lot, well, even better than I did before because I, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, um, Jackie does, Jackie does stuff, what do you expect? Okay, so that actually, excuse me, that actually is me on the recording. <coughs> and, um, uh, yeah, to say that, that I'm on an archive conference call uh, is kind of weird um i don't really know what i sound like on the phone um what's the matter matt come here boy come here what's the matter huh what's the matter you just want some attention Little cat dog sit good boy good boy mac good boy i love this dog y'all this dog is such a great dog um, he's a Border Collie mix. We've had him about four years. Um, he was a rescue. And come to find... No, no, no. Don't get hair all over my clothes. Come to find out, the day we got him... Hey, Mac. Mac, hey, sit. 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 Good boy. Oh, hey, sit. Sit, Mac. The day that we got him, uh, come to find out, was actually the day before he was euthanized. So, um, we have a, a picture in our house of my oldest son, Logan, and Mac, and the caption of the picture just simply says, who rescued whom, and I, I love this dog. He drives me nuts sometimes, but I love this dog. Um, yeah, it's a good boy. I guess he acts like a cat dog. He'll rub up on your leg like a cat does, um... But he, and you know what, come to find out, we think that his previous owners, one was male and one was female, and we think the male was abusive because he does not warm up to men at all. It even took him three days to warm up to me. Uh, my wife, though, he warmed up to immediately. Good boy, Mac. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll rub your belly. I'll rub your belly. Oh, I love this dog. Oh, there's a spot right there. Um, so anyway, I, I'm I'm actually the one on this conference call, so now I need him to uh, correct my name, which is no big deal. Happens all the time. Um, but it's kind of weird to... Uh, it's kind of weird to hear myself on a recording... Um, so I'll definitely be sharing this because that's a new one there. Um, Mac, hey, 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 settle, settle. Um, uh, Mac, hey, that's enough. That's enough. Sit. Oh, hush. Um, 
So let me share this real quick then. Bizarre. Oh, Mac. Hey. Hey, goofball. That's bizarre. Now all of a sudden I can't get to my page. There we go. That was totally bizarre. Okay, so sh can I share it now? No. That's bizarre. I'll have to try and share this from my phone. So I'm actually on a conference call. That was kind of cool. Um... There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? Good boy, Mac. Good boy. Okay, so I just showed that shared that to my Facebook page. Let's see if I can share it with my team too. Actually, I need to go back and copy what I said.
It's funny how, how fast my Facebook page updates. I never would have thought that I'd get so many friends in the course of a day that I wouldn't get to see everything. Um, you know, my, my friends are, are always posting all the time. And I get so much going through my feed that um, I don't always catch everything. So if I miss something, please let me know. old golly where did time go and he stands four feet four inches he's one foot one inch away from being as tall as me now the doctors told us when he was a when he was a baby that um he'll be at least six feet before he's done and sure enough here he is at eight years old and he's nearly four and a half That's just crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> so I'm reading a, a post from uh, from a friend of mine she apparently ordered something called a blackberry fizz stick I have no idea what that is I'll have to google that one later and she says that it's stuck in a weird cycle okay so if you're looking it's in the United States it arrived in Indianapolis Departed Indianapolis and wound up in Memphis. Departed Memphis and wound up in Houston. De now, nah, okay, my friend is in Katy. Okay, this is how weird, how funny this is. So it arrives in Houston and it leaves Houston and goes to Fort Worth. Comes back to Houston and somehow manages to wind up leaving Houston and going to Stafford. And then leaving Stafford and going back to Houston. I don't understand delivery systems where postal service and Facebook or uh, FedEx, UPS, all of them, they all are so weird. And, okay, explain to me this one. You, you fly out of Midland, go to Dallas, only to leave Dallas which is five hours east of Midland, you fly out of Dallas and go back west to Vegas. Explain that one to me. Why can't you just go from Midland to Vegas? It's not that difficult. I mean, seriously. Hmm. And just like that, I've got 10 minutes to get back to work. So... We're going to wrap it up here. I hope that everybody has a fantastic afternoon. Uh, I hope I get to talk with y'all again soon. I'm hoping to start doing my Let's Chats on Instagram once a week. Uh, maybe not on Saturdays with the rest of them, but definitely one day during the week. It's going to be a crazy afternoon and evening for me and my family. So I hope I get to talk with y'all again. But if not, y'all have a wonderful evening. My family means more to me than anything. So... Uh, it's the main reason why I started my own business and I have not looked back and I have a lot of fun. So y'all subscribe, follow me, whatever. Um, this account is a business account, so it's open to everybody. You guys take care. We'll talk to y'all later.